I did want to also touch on the state of Burning Man. So Burning Man released a update to the status of the virtual burn. And my interpretation of their announcement is, go for it. You go be burners in the world. Do whatever it is you're gonna do. We are not going to release a venue, a format. There's no technology platform that we are going to release and then have you guys build stuff on it. I know that was really good for Pinkheart to hear because we were kind of waiting to hear what we should build on before we could really figure out what we're gonna do. Now we know the answer is whatever. Do whatever, however, whatever you want, and we will connect it all, uh, I believe through the tool that they've, uh, they've launched already called Kindling, which is the, a place to list events and experiences and connect people in digital ways which I think is a fantastic tool. I, I, I think it's, it's exactly what we need right now. And I actually think that this decision by uh, the Burning Man organization is the right one. You know, how could they pick one tool, one technology? You know, it'd be like, you know, forcing people to build their camps with lag screws, no more, you know, rebar or you can only use certain kinds of pop-ups or whatever, you know, and I think that it makes sense that uh, that it is a fully open platform and whatever people want to create and do is, is how we're going to do it. And I also think that, you know, in the state of the world right now, um, we got to be a really open-minded about how we express and, and act on the burner impulses in the world and I think adjust them to to art in 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 big world changing ways. One of the things I was really encouraged by over the last week is just as I was reading this announcement about the the virtual burning man or or the lack of it, I got an update from two of the regulars in the daily Zoom gratitude circles that I host. Um, Alex and Azuro are in two different parts of Germany, three hours apart. And a few days ago, they showed up on the same webcam and kind of blew all of our minds. What? And they shared with us that they had been planning a Burning Man project together. And so Azuro drove to Alex and they had been sawing and created a Jenga set where each block had some you know, crazy direction that you had to do if you pulled that. And it was so cool to see the Burning Man energy and the, the principles and the fire in these individuals being expressed no matter what. And then they drove five hours to Hamburg to a small burner gathering where they played this Jenga game with people. They danced, they dressed up, they logged in. It was three in the morning for them, you know, at our six o'clock, all dressed up, glowing with burner vibes. And it just made me really soothe my heart to know that we don't need permission from the Burning Man organization to be burners. We don't need a, a game plan to radically self-express, to build our communities, to follow the 10 principles and to, 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 to burn. So another thing I think is potentially exciting is that as we have this massive freedom with what we're going to do for this year's non-burn, there's, there's an opportunity for theme camps to blow our minds and perhaps propose or express some form of artistic gathering vibe expression that is a new direction for the Burning Man culture. Black Rock City is awesome, but it is a Disneyland version of, you know, a small burn. And with the state of the world right now, with COVID and uh, Black Lives Matter, like, 
maybe while Black Rock City is awesome, maybe there's some other way that this energy is expressed in a more core, raw, early burn kind of anarchist way. And maybe some burners with a lot of time on their hands will will find that new path of, of expression that um, that changes the world in different ways. So I am looking forward to seeing what people create and um, excited that we can burn every day if we want to. So thank you. I love you.